This conference here at the European Parliament, you have called putting animal welfare at the heart of EU. Peter Davis, isn't the animal welfare issue not at the heart of EU right now? I would like to think it was, but I am afraid that for some countries it is not at the heart of their country, therefore you can't say it's at the heart of the whole of the EU. But we're moving in the right direction. How do you do it from the side of the Eurogroup for Animal Welfare? How do you push upon the EU to become better involved in animal welfare? Well, first of all, we have representatives from all of the big uh, uh, NGOs in Europe who sit around on a table uh, supported by their staffs and agree what is the next thing that we want to try and achieve. We get unanimity and then through our professional staff in Brussels, we lobby the MEPs and the Commission and Parliament, giving them the facts, giving them the scientific basis, the whole thing, and we keep up the pressure until they see the light. But you said something very important. We unite in the standpoints, uh, which means that actually there might be situations where you cannot move as fast as you perhaps would like to move. Well, that's a good question. Uh, fortunately, by and large, we do get unanimity in the NGOs. It sometimes takes time, but we also allow a particular NGO in a particular country who take a different viewpoint from us to at least abstain while we get on with the main. But we deal with the majority and normally it's 100%. But you must agree there are some even cultural differences which might be very difficult to overcome. You're quite right, but we do overcome it with uh, respect for each other, respect for the, um, the ethics and the history of each country, and try to persuade them that what the majority view that we've arrived at is, is the right one. If they can't agree, then we have to accept that they back off for that particular issue and we pull them back in for all the other issues. And you are trying to lobby actually the Commission via the EU Parliament. Next to you is the representative. How close in contact are you with the intergroup of the, for animal welfare of the European Parliament? Well, Eurogroup set up the intergroup some 25 years ago and we've been the secretariat for it ever since. And we've had a succession of presidents of the intergroups who are being very supportive and supported by their MEPs. And I'm delighted that the new president of the, of the intergroup is with me now and he is going to be, I know, very supportive because he's told me already that he is an animal welfareist. And Janusz Wojciechowski, you are the president new elected of the intergroup for animal welfare. Here's a conference trying as I said before, to put the, EU, the animal welfare issue into the heart of the EU. Being a parliamentarian, is it easy? Uh, it's uh, very good that uh, we uh, have the pressure of the NGOs organization uh, organized in the Eurogroup. Uh, we feel this, this pressure to, uh, to uh, improve the situation of animals in the European Union to improve the animal welfare standards and uh, we are as a parliamentarian more sensitive for the situation of animal year by year. The situation is, is that the uh, approach of the European Parliament is going better and the last 10 years I'm member of the European Parliament 10 years uh, uh, and I can observe that, uh, I could observe that uh, a lot of uh, regulations, directives were adopted uh, creating better uh, situation of animals, but it we are uh, the, the the process is going too slowly. In my uh, opinion, we have a lot of uh, uh, we have a lot of do uh, for the improvement of situation of uh, animals. For example, animal transport like for horses, mm -hmm. not transport them longer than than eight hours is absolutely necessary. Uh, we uh, have to create better control of uh, present regulation, like PICS directive. We have a good PICS directive, but it's not uh, effectively uh, controlled. And very good that uh, we discuss about that. Uh, I hope that this term of the Parliament, we are at the beginning of the term of the European Parliament, will be successful for animal welfare. Thanks. Um, uh, pressure of the uh, animal welfare organizations. But what you're saying is actually we should, we could, we uh, would um, 
How about having a new action plan for animal welfare as the EU had some 10 years ago, initiated for five years period of time and nothing happened? How can you perhaps ensure that a new action plan is called upon uh, to improve just what you want to improve? This is not so easy to, Im to improve and to uh, implement our plans because uh, we have to, uh, to know that, uh, to understand that from other side we have, the, from one side we have pressure of the animal welfare organizations. From other side there is pressure of the industry, uh, food industry. We have uh, now the, you can observe the process industrialization of of uh, agriculture, of farming. This is, uh, and, uh, but I hope that uh, step by step we will. Uh, this uh, lobbying of the industry will be weak than lobbying of the uh, NGOs uh, who are uh, animal welfare uh, acting. Have you met the new commissioner for animal welfare? Uh, we had uh, only the, I had uh, only meeting with commissioner for the agriculture and who has a part of animal welfare but not the entire sector no this is a uh, many majority of cases of, of uh, matters uh, connected with animal welfare are uh, considered by the committee of agriculture it's uh, good for me because i'm vice chairman committee of agriculture and uh, especially the situation of uh, farming animals animal transport uh, maj majority of this is uh, decided it's, it's considered by the committee of agriculture Finally, Peter Davis, you have put a horse here. Um, are you waiting for a naked girl to enter the horse, or why is it here? Um, it's a representation of uh, the farm animals generally, of course. Uh, but we, uh, in my country, in England, uh, we have a great love for the horse. And I think that love for the horse spreads right across Europe. And of course, for many countries in Europe, the horse was the stable method of farming. Uh, pulling the plough, uh, uh, cutting the, the corn, everything else. So we have a strong affinity uh, with, with the equines. I just wanted to say also, of course, that the members of the intergroup are by definition people who support animal welfare. So we have a, uh, a fairly easy target here uh, to persuade them to do things that we would like. It's getting the rest of Parliament and the other countries of the Parliament to support in the same way that Poland does and members of the intergroup do. You have asked for signatures. Have you put your signature on the horse? We both have. Here they are. Here, here and here. Excellent. Thank you for this conversation. Okay. Yeah. We should have a photograph of shaking hands here with the horse. Come around here.